I like it. Dark hair, vampy lips, simple eyes, nothing to crease. Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're looking, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads. You can follow me on all my social media, Shades of Chels, Chels Makeup Edition. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Created this romantic classic holiday makeup look which is also slash appropriate for a date night a girl's night whatever it is you want to use it for whatever it's basically focused on the skin the lips on the lashes nothing to crazy the eye so if you want to see how i did this look stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned so i'm gonna prime my face with my nyx angel veil primer i'm gonna apply this mostly in the center of my face where I get oily and spread it out to the rest of my face. Never skip your primer. Primer is uh, so important in your skin, at least for me, because I say I do see a difference the way my makeup wears throughout the day. <laughs> And I am double priming because I do get drier in the cooler months. So I'm just using a hydrating primer here from MAC. I think it's it's a sample size. Um, I need to see how well it works for my skin before I actually could commit to getting the full size. You guys, if you're hearing noises, I always say I am literally, literally on a highway. So. Uh, there's nothing I can do about the noises at the moment until I probably choose to move. So I'm pressing that underneath my eyes because underneath my eyes is extremely dry and I just want these areas to be hydrated. So I am double priming today as usual. I'm always double priming. So for my foundation, I'm using my Lancome Tint Idol. It's one of my favorite higher end foundation. It lasts so well on the skin. And to apply, I'm using my damp beauty sponge as usual. It's my favorite way to apply my foundation. My damp beauty sponge. So what's up, you guys? What's going on? Is How is the Christmas looking? <laughs> I am such a Christmas baby. I started to listen to Christmas carols. Yes, I did. I did that. I'm already planning what it is I want to do for Christmas. I'm so excited. It's such a joyous time. I just love it so much. Even though things aren't great around Christmas or you're probably just in not the best mood or the best place in life, there's just something so joyous about the season, about the holiday season, Christmas, that it sort of makes you forget what's, what's going on with you. You know what I mean? I just, listen you guys, leave me a phrase down below that I could say besides, you know what I mean. Damn, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. So what are you guys' plans? I mean, listen, Thanksgiving is not even here yet, but I'm thinking about Christmas already. Soon as the day after Thanksgiving, I am going to put my Christmas tree up because I haven't done that in forever. So I'm definitely getting myself a Christmas tree. Did I just spit? Shit. Always hit your jawline to get rid of is that line we don't want that line that's i know now no lines of demarcation always bring it down i need to shave my face yes i do shave my face because it makes my makeup lay um smooth it gives me a very very smooth base besides my skincare and my primers and everything get rid of all the peach fuzz on your face and you will get a smooth application of your makeup that's another secret I just gave you another secret. Now to conceal my under eyes, my nose, my chin, my face. Basically, I am using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is a beautiful concealer. I love it. It's like really good for this time of year for me because it's creamy. So it keeps underneath my eyes uh, pretty hydrated, you know? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> So when I go in with my concealer, I like giving it a couple minutes to dry and get tacky. 
I feel like when I do that, it um it gives me more coverage, and I end up using less concealer in the long run. Now I'm gonna use my uh, Elf stippling brush to do the middle of my face. I like using a brush for the middle. And I'm gonna use a sponge to do the rest of my face. Do you guys like my chit chat videos? I mean, no one comments, but you will DM me as usual. But um, I personally, because of my own selfish reasons, do not like to do chit chats because I'm selfish like that. I want to be listening to music while I record. I want to get myself in that space. Ah, uh, so which do you guys prefer, voiceovers or chit chat? I mean, whatever. I still have to mix it up. I still have to do both. I can't just do voiceovers only. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my color pop over my eyes because this is gonna be my base. You know the drill with that. For my shadows. I can't just idle, 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 idle. Let me know what which, which you guys like anyway. You know, so I'll know. Um, chit chats, voiceovers. I mean, I still will mix it up, but let me know what you guys like. I'm gonna do a little cream contour today, like so, and so, and so. Get that jawline. Mhm. Mm Snatched baby. I'm using this uh, Elf cream brush to blend that out. Guys, my face. I don't know what's going on with my face. I don't know if it's the weather. No, sir. Something not right. Mm -mm. Can't sleep good at night. Yo, I love reggae music so, so much. And I'm from the Caribbean, so I'm from Grenada, so um, our music is soca. Mostly soca. And I feel like a traitor when I listen to reggae all the time because. I cannot listen to soca music all the time like that. I will get crazy. I'm just going to use my sponge to go over this contour to blend everything together. I'm going to add some more concealer right here because I have a very small head. And I have a two head instead of a four head. I felt like I, bang, I brought the contour down a little bit too low. I like adding more highlight to my forehead than contour. If you have a bigger forehead, then you could bring your contour lower so that it looks smaller. But my forehead is already small, so I want to create the illusion that I have a bigger forehead. So I just got crazy with this contour. So this is how I'm going to fix that. Yep. So I'm going to set underneath my eyes and I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. But before I do that, I'm just going to tap off any creases that might have formed. And using my same damp sponge, I'm going to set this in place. So I'm pressing the powder everywhere on my face, basically. I'm setting my face with the powder and the damp sponge. It really pushes the product into my skin and kind of helps me to not look too powdery in the long run and that's the look that I want so I applied the powder where I want to bake which is the size of my face my nose my chin I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera and Ooh, when I'm back right. my brows are done listen I need to shape my brows my entire face is going through emotions right now like I need to shave, I need to shape my brows, whatever. Anyway, I use my trusty Morphe 25V palette for my brows and I dusted off the powder that, with this NYX um, powder foundation. This helps to just give more coverage on my face. And I left this powder on my nose because it's my new trick, it's the way I have been contouring my nose lately. I'm just gonna go a little bit in depth. So I'm using this nose. little, I've had this brush for so much years, I don't even remember if it was I probably paid like $2 for this brush, but it's so good. And this Kiss Mineral Powder in the shade Honey Brown. And I'm tapping my brush in this and getting all the excess off. Oops, sorry, I have my music on. Can you hear that? Are you dumb, 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 dumb,
inclusion of things that are not really there so i want to make my nose look slimmer so leaving the powder there gives me a sort of guideline as to how slim i want my nose to look and it's gonna make the center highlighted to make you look like you have a slimmer nose so i'm tapping this off and just getting a little bit on my hands to get any extra off and i use my brow bone as a guideline right where my brow begins right here and i'm gonna start to you see me the powder is already coming off so that is what i want because it's gonna make me guide me as to how i want my nose contour to look when i have this i'm just gonna drag it down to the corner like this do the same thing on the other side Oops. now I'm gonna perfect it and I'm gonna start from the bottom of my nose and I'm kind of using oh, look into my nose tell me what you see <laughs> mm, serious anyway <laughs> I'm using this part of my nose as a guideline to the bottom of my nose so I'm taking it from here and sort of joining it to the top line that I just made here we go again and this is what i have now i'm gonna go in with my covergirl ebony uh covergirl ebony bronzer this is one of my favorite favorite bronzers i love the tone of it it's just perfect and i am going to and i'm going to chisel my cheeks with it a little more and i'm sort of bringing this like straight down and i'm starting right on this part of my face going a little bit higher I'm just gonna use the same powder that I used to set my face and just sort of carve this area out just in case I got messy with my contour I'm just gonna leave that to sit for a couple minutes, not too long, because I don't want it to be too harsh, just to neaten it up. In the meantime, I'm gonna use this um, NYX blush right here with my e.l.f. brush. It's sort of a corally color, and I think it's gonna complement the look very well. And this look is basically about the skin. I just want my skin to be slay, you know? Booming. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm gonna remove the powder because I do not want too much of a harsh line. If I do anything else, I'm gonna set my face real quick to get rid of the powders, and I'm gonna use my model's own one night stand. Setting your face is essential. Also, if you use a lot of powder, especially if you have an oily combination skin type, you need to set your face because you are gonna be using powders to make your makeup stay in place and to keep your eyes at base so you need a spray that's gonna get rid of that powdery residue on your face so that you don't have cake face i'm just using my got to be gel and setting my brows in place also this helps it last all day and gets rid of any of the powders and stuff that i use so now for the time. eyes and i'm doing the eyes very simple this look is about the skin the lips and lashes today you don't have to do anything crazy to your eyes. Don't always feel like you have to wear shadows and things like that. Um, let's see if I can find a brush first. So I'm using my Morphe um, 35O palette. I haven't used this in so long. And it was so loved. Do you see that? <laughs> I hit pan on so much color. And I'm just going to use um, a very soft shade. I'm just going to use two shadows today. I'm gonna use this very light, uh, medium shade brown. I'm gonna apply this first all over my eyelid. Just press that in. Damn. And I'm just applying this on my lids. Oh my God, the noise, the noises. Do the same thing on the other side. Use. I'm probably gonna mix this brown and this brown because I can. It's there, like why not? And I'm just getting it on one side of my brush. 
tap the excess off and apply this directly in my crease just for a little definition flick it out a little bit nothing too crazy and I'm be sure I'm trying to get it all the way in the corners of my eyes as well inner to outer corner like so so just like I said pretty simple just contouring the eyes nothing too crazy I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye now and yeah and I'm using windshield wiper motions and small circular motions like so just so that we have no harsh lines just gonna go back with a little bit of a color just to intensify it just a little bit and to make everything look a little more defined I'm just gonna use the darker of the two colors this one right here and a flat brush like this and just apply it to the bottom lash Now I'm going to align my waterline, but I'm not going to use black today, hallelujah. I'm going to use this um, Rimmel sort of beige um, liner. It's just going to open up my eyes a little bit more since the lashes I'm going to use is sort of dramatic. So I want my eyes to be more opened like so. So what movies are you guys looking at? Netflix actually brought out two Christmas movies already that I looked at a million times. I swear I'm obsessed with Christmas. I am so obsessed. And what are you guys looking at? Look at what are you guys? <laughs> what are you guys looking at on TV? I'm using my Amrezy um, MBH Cosmetics, not BH, uh, ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter to bring some glow to the skin, baby. Superhero movies and romantic comedies and things like that. And I'm so obsessed with Arrow on the CW and Flash. I love those shows so much. I've seen Arrow's, Arrow literally has like seven seasons. Well, they're on the seventh season now and I have seen the six seasons. I'm actually, this is my third time binge watching Arrow. I think I'm more in love with Stephen Amell. He's so handsome. Uh, Oliver. <laughs> he is so fine. I love This Is Us. I love This Is Us so much. I, Grey's Anatomy. I've been with loyal day one fan of Grey's Anatomy 15 seasons and I'm still here looking at Grey's Anatomy I love it so much friend recommended designated survivor to me last night and I started to look at it and it's, it's going fine I've known about it but I just never looked at it I'm gonna use the same highlighter to hit the corners of my eyes like so then get very precise with my nose. This is gonna make my nose look even straighter than it is. Tips and tricks, people. Get your pen and your pad. Make sure you're writing the shit down. Then my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take a little bit of this again and just hit the high point of my brow bone like so. You guys, there's so much noise and talking outside from the neighbors and stuff like that. Like, I hope this turns out good that I sat here and I won't do this and that I could put it up because the noise is not too distracting. And if it is, please excuse me. There's nothing I can do about it, literally. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. And when I apply my lashes, I like to look down. So I have a mirror right here in front of me and I have my mirror facing up. So that I can look down into the mirror and pop these on. Pretty simple. So while it dries, let me pop my lip bun. You know what? Last night I broke my damn lipstick. Uh, two lipsticks fell and they just broke and I literally felt like I wanted to cry. It's crazy. I'm going to put a clip in so you guys could see that fell it shattered 
So I'm going to use my ColourPop uh, Pearl next door. Here we have it guys, that's the completed look. My dark red vampy lip and very neutral eyes. Like I said, this look was all about the skin, the lips and the lashes. Don't ever feel like you have to go crazy on your eyeshadows and things like that. You just always do what, what's best for you, what works best for you. So as usual, everything will be in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and always hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads. All the links to my social media, social, social, <laughs> all the links to my social media, uh, how to book me. I am a nail technician and a makeup artist working out here in Brooklyn. Everything would always be in the description box. So always, always check that out. I go through the extra effort of doing that for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this chit chat. Also, let me know what's your favorite videos to look at i mean like come on let us sister know what's, what's up i mean really i'm just here going off things that i have on my list i made from four years ago i mean come on let a girl know what's up it's your sister up okay okay anyway thank you so much for watching and uh see you again soon bye